so what's going on guys me here with director reviews and welcome back to another video so we are actually now in my volkswagen vento this is a car which i haven't featured on the channel yet but uh today we're going to be doing something to it because um i feel it's too quiet for a car with dsg uh, so i want to hear some uh, dsg farts from this car so today we're going to be deleting the muffler on the volkswagen vento and uh fingers crossed that it's going to sound good so let's head over to Ampang Technique to actually get uh, the muffler deleted. At the end of the video, I'm going to be showing you guys some uh, samples, some sound clips before and after. So do stay tuned for that. So I'll see you guys when I reach Ampang Technique. So guys, we're now at Ampang Technique and we're going to be deleting the muffler for the Vento. So let me bring you guys in. See right here, this is the muffler. So we'll be deleting it today and I'll show you guys the process. guys so we have actually removed the muffler you can see right here very fast and simple job so I'm going to show you guys how the result is Alright guys, so it's been a couple of days since I actually did the muffler delete. The reason being is that I wanted the pipe to actually settle down so that I can actually give you guys my honest uh, thoughts about it. Uh, whether my expectations were met by deleting the muffler. And in a nutshell, basically, no, uh, my expectation wasn't met. I guess I'm actually spoiled by how my Sirocco muffler delete turned out. Uh, that actually really gave me a wow factor. But however, on this car, um, it's a little too quiet still uh, you do not get uh, loud farts when changing gears not like the Sirocco at all but uh, overall I think uh, there are still farts there are still farts when uh, you are at very high rev and when you're on sports mode you do get uh, some farts which is not bad I mean for a sedan and a daily driver uh, this is the perfect uh, mod to do I should say mod by deleting the muffler but overall, I think uh, I've taken this on a trip actually. I, I took this on a trip, a road trip. And even with the muffler deleted, uh, there was no drone except when it was around 2,001 to 2,200 RPM. When you do want some noise coming out from the exhaust, you will have it when you're accelerating. But it's very subtle. Uh, on the outside, on the outside, however, it sounds totally different. Uh, as you'll be seeing in the clips uh, I'll be showing you at the end of this video. So on the outside, you will hear some uh, bubbles, some uh, very slight crackles and stuff like that. And it sounds pretty good actually on the outside. I was uh, pretty impressed when I took a sample clip for my own uh, for my own viewing to actually hear what it sounds like on the outside. But on the inside of the car, it sounds really, really silent. I mean, it's a good thing. Uh, of course, as a driver, as a car enthusiast, we do want to hear the exhaust sound on the inside of the car, but this is... Uh, Kind of a mixed bag for me overall i think for 100 ringgit to delete the muffler of course i did not use a stainless steel uh, pipe with this i used the regular steel pipe because in the future i might do a complete exhaust system uh, upgrade and also probably a retune so i decided not to spend too much money right now i just wanted the feel of uh, the dsg the sound of the dsg uh, but overall uh, if you're looking for slightly louder tone louder and bassier tone on your volkswagen vento uh, this applies to the volkswagen vento but on the polo there are much louder dsg farts i'm not sure why maybe i guess it's the tuning uh, this is a sedan meant for like uh, city drive and you know comfort uh, 
uh, as compared to the Polo which is the more outgoing version of the Vento. Uh, they do have the same engine and the same transmission but however I bet Volkswagen tuned it differently. So that's the reason uh, why the shifts on this car are not as aggressive. If you compare the DSG7 on this car with the DSG7 on the Sirocco, the Sirocco is super aggressive but of course it is very uncomfortable when you are driving in a jam for example. Uh, however, this car is super smooth, so yeah, give and take. But if you're the type who likes the loud the farts, the DSG farts, definitely you do need to get a TCU remap, a transmission control unit remap. Alright, so I uh, hope you guys like the clips at the end, and I hope you guys like this video. I hope this video was informational to you. So that's all for this video. Do consider subscribing to this channel for more content just like this one, and I'll see you guys in the next video.